Are you in the club? Hey guys, welcome back for another episode. This is Amy Jo, and I have a super fun video for you today. It's the Barbie airbrush designer. I know that there is no doll included. It says that on the packaging, but let's open it up and see what does come with this playset. This looks very professional. So this is the airbrush tool. We have some clothes directions. Not sure what that is yet. I bet that's what we use to spray the color on the clothes. Markers and some Barbie dolls. Princess Anna and Barbie herself. Um, excuse me, Amy Jo. Make sure that you tell them that no Barbie doll comes with the set. I already did, Barbie, but thanks for the reminder. The Barbie and the Princess Anna. Here I am, here I am. Yes, these do not come with the playset. These are dolls that I already have. Next, we're going to take a look at the clothes. And these are special washable clothes. So we can use the airbrush tool on them. And then we can wash them, wait for them to dry, and we can use them again. So that's kind of neat. What else do we have? Ooh, the stencils. That looks like a kitty cat wearing glasses. A diamond or a gem. A unicorn with some stars. Can you see that? Oh, and then just some random designs. And this looks like the dress form that we'll be using to apply the colors. So we'll put the dress or the shirt over this, like so, and then the design, and then spray the color on. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. It looks like there's just some very basic assembly. So we have to add a battery, and then we'll put all of the colorful markers in place and then let's see this looks really straightforward I think we put the marker into the airbrush tool and then turn it on and it works okay let's put our batteries in Put our markers in place. And I think we're almost ready to go. Let's start with a shirt. So we press the shirt over the dress form and then we're gonna just hang it right here, just like that. And then we need to decide which stencil we want to use. So we can do the unicorn, the diamond, or the kitty cat. I think we should do the kitty cat first. Okay, now that we have our shirt and design picked out, let's test our airbrush tool. So I'm gonna take the cap off, press it down into the tool until we hear it click. Okay, it was a little click, but I heard it. Then we adjust the dial to the start position. Whoa, okay, so I guess we'll put it right about there. And we need to turn the power switch on. That is located right on the top. And I think what we're gonna do next is test it on a piece of paper. Are you guys ready for this? I'm ready. Okay, so I went and got a piece of paper. We're all set. I'm gonna press this little button. Okay, it said that if nothing came out, to click this towards the arrow, the way the arrow is pointing. Oh, a little bit's coming out. Okay, I'm gonna do it one more time. Oh, look what I just did. <laughs> okay, I went and washed my hands and it does say in the instructions that this can happen. So to fix it, we just click it back towards the starting position and try it again. 
and it says that if it stays foamy, you just keep clicking it back until it stops. So I'm just moving it back and forth until I get it the way I want it. <laughs> there, perfect. Oops, little bit of foam. I'm gonna click it back one time. There. Now we have our mess cleaned up and I think our airbrush tool is ready and now I'm just going to make sure that I have the stencil positioned exactly where I want it. Are you guys ready? I'm ready, so here we go. Looks good so far. Okay, let's take it off and see how our kitty cat looks. Oh, it's cute. What do you guys think? Can you see the kitty cat's whiskers and glasses? Aww. I wish there was a way to pull it down and make it a little tighter, because I think if we did that under the stencil, then the face would have been a little more clearly defined, but that's definitely cute. This is really messy after you take the shirt off, or mine was really messy, so I just am letting you guys know. I wiped this down, and then I also put some paper towel down on top of my table because the spray from the airbrush was flying everywhere. It's definitely messy. <laughs> See my blue fingers? This time, I'm going to do the diamond stencil, and we're going to do it in pink. So, we'll get that set up and I've already loaded our pink marker and tested it out so we should be ready for action <laughs> okay I think this one's gonna be really cute here we go <laughs> Let's take a look at our diamond. Ooh, it's kind of messy, but I like it. Okay, so I'm gonna do something a little different. I put the orange marker in and I've tested it and it says in the directions that you can also just kind of freestyle a design. So I thought I would just kind of, since it's already kind of messy anyway, I would just spray over it and make like a little airbrush design, so. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> Ooh, it's very faint. Let's click it up one notch. And now let's do the back. think? Do you like it? 
I kind of like it. I don't think it looks, you know, amazing or anything, but it's kind of nice to not have just the plain white shirt. You could actually just airbrush something, you know, the shirt or a dress, and then you could use the stencil with another color over it. Or you could just do anything. You could do like a big B for Barbie or, you know what? Well, maybe we won't try it today. Maybe we'll try it the next time I play with this. I have an idea. Next, let's put some stars all over this fancy dress. <laughs> Here's how that turned out. And I think along the bottom, I'm just gonna kind of maybe take the purple and do some wavy lines. Hmm, <laughs> I can't really make wavy lines. I kind of like that splattery look. All right, so here is Barbie in her fancy shirt with the big hot pink diamond on it. This is the one that we just kind of painted in the back. Ooh, I don't have any pants for Barbie right now, so I'm trying to keep her covered. All right, so there is Barbie in the diamond shirt. And you guys, look at Princess Anna. Doesn't she look fabulous? I think this turned out really cute. Don't forget to show them the kitty cat shirt, Amy Jo. Of course. Okay, guys, here is the kitty cat shirt. Hmm, I wonder which one is your favorite. Okay, guys, I can't wait to hear what you think about this airbrush designer playset and what your favorite article of clothing was. I know I didn't do all the stencils or the clothes, and guess why? Because I'm going to do another video with this. I'm going to wash these clothes, and we're going to start all over. If you think that's a good idea, make sure you click on the thumbs up, and don't forget to leave me a comment to let me know what you think about all this, okay? This is Amy Jo with DCTC. Thanks for watching. Oh, and um, you guys, make sure that you put down paper towel and have some paper towels and water nearby because this is a really messy playset. Another video, that's the end. Come back soon or we'll miss you, friend. DC, DC. We do toy reviews. DC, DC. And we play with Play-Doh, too. Skits, pranks, eggs and toys. We make videos for girls and boys. Uh-huh, uh-huh, that's right. <laughs>